Today I'm going to make some bone broth and turkey soup. Turkey bone broth. I have one carcass from earlier in the year that was frozen and this Thanksgiving carcass that was also frozen. Decided just going to make it today because it's a rainy day. Now obviously that's not going to fit proper in there but as it starts to boil, it'll melt and crunch down. So that's the first step. Put the carcasses in the pot. <clears throat> Add as much water as you can. You don't want it to overflow and make a big mess. That takes a while. Big pot. I'd like to point out on my. <clears throat> we have a microwave that has the built in fan that exhausts outside. And I purchased this nice little stainless lip for the. For the see, so it, it, the air from pots on the front burners can get caught and sucked through the fan. I'm going to use that to help. Reduce the humidity in the house while I'm boiling the bones. This also is easily removable so that when you want to flip an egg or stir a big pot or something, you can just remove it and have the room to do it. But for just plain ventilating, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to fill this pot full of water and put it on the stove and I'll show you again. So now the pot with water and the bones are on the stove. I'm going to turn it to high, but I'm not going to leave it there and I'm going to watch it really closely. Because you don't want your bones to burn to the bottom of the pot. My pot here is quite a thin bottom pot. Not really meant for this, but it works fine. So as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat so it doesn't burn. Because you, once you burn the bones at the bottom of the pot, that's it. Your broth is no good anymore. It tastes awful. So I'll keep a close eye on it. As soon as it starts to boil, I'll turn it down to maybe medium and keep my eye on it too. You gotta prevent burning. So just to, instead of trying to stir it, just turn it. You can turn your bones a bit. And this will help to uh, prevent it from burning into the bottom. It's only been like 10 minutes now. The water is hot enough that it's starting to thaw the, the carcasses. You can see they've dropped. I can now put the lid on. Plus, I'm going to turn this down to like three. And I'll still check on it every once in a while. I don't want it to, uh, to burn. It's 10 o'clock right now, a.m. And I'm about five or six hours I want to simmer it. So it's a gentle boil. I have left lots of meat on the carcasses, put in the wings, and uh, that way after, after five or six hours, I will um, pick through the meat, save some, if I can find some nice chunks to put in the soup. But for now, I'm just concentrating on boiling it. It's not actually at the boil level yet, but it's pretty hot. Any, any minute now it'll boil. The bones have all separated now because they're all frozen together. It's been 15 minutes. It's been almost one hour now, 55 minutes to be exact. And it's in simmering away. I'm going to give it a stir right now so the bones don't burn to the bottom. So far, so good.
boiling pretty hard, so I turned it from three down to two now. And it's sturdy, of course. It's starting to smell really good in here. However, it's a long way from finishing boiling. It's now 12 o'clock. It's been boiling for two hours. got to be careful. You don't want the meat to slip and it splashes and it's very hot. Let's just take your time. You can see the nice color coming from the turkey beans. It's now one o'clock. Oh, it's hot. And it's still boiling away. I actually stir it more than just once an hour. Stir, stir it every half hour. The meat's all falling off. Looking good. It's two o'clock now. It's still a boiling away. It's smelling really turkey soupy in the house. <laughs> I know it's just bone broth. Everything's falling apart in the carcasses now. Leaving a neck in there. It is three o'clock now. It's almost time to start straining it. Let me give it a little bit more because we started at ten. It's five hours, but it's only been boiling maybe four and a half hours. So just a little bit longer. Get all the goodness we can out of those bones. I see it's missed it up. I must have come too close to the pot. <laughs> it's four o'clock now. This has been boiling out since 10. Ah, looking good. But now this is too hot to work with. Like I'm gonna have to separate out the meat and it's way too hot. So I'm gonna turn the burner off. Carry it over to the sink. So I'm going to put the lid on. And I'm going to let it cool off for a little bit because I don't want to burn my fingers trying to separate the meat. That's it for now. Now I told you this morning about this hood, the range hood for the microwave. This is how easy it goes back on. The reason I have that is because I couldn't put the spoon in there and stir. But now that's how easy it goes back on. This is now the morning of the next day. The broth has cooled off now. Well, uh, quite a bit. It's still warm. And I'm going to start separating it. I want to save some of the meat to put into the soup. And the rest of the bones go into the garbage. 
So that's what I'm beginning to do right now. I have my strainer here. So I'm putting it in the strainer and letting it drip into my stock pot. I could just pour it in, but too messy. Too much broth. Have to get another pot. And as can be seen, nothing burned and stuck to the bottom. No, it's not really washing, it's just to rinse the yuck off. So, so far I have a pot this size of broth, 
pot this size, broth. And a bowl of nice turkey meat that will go into the soup. I don't think we'll be using all this broth. Some of it we'll probably put into a large freezer bag and freeze for next time. But that's enough in this process right now. I'm going to start washing pots up and getting things all organized again. And I'll talk to you in a bit. The stock, I tasted it. It's not bad, but it's a little bit weaker than I want. So I'm going to reduce it a little bit more, bring these to a simmer and another hour or so of reducing. Just to give me some sort of idea on reduction in the big pot, it's two inches from the top and the smaller pot it's almost, it is two inches from the top also. So I'm just going to keep my eye on it until it gets some reduction out of there. Makes the, makes the um, broth stronger flavor. So the broth has been reducing for about three hours now. You can see it's now at three inches, so this pot's reduced by one inch, because this earlier it was two inches. Same with this, three inches. So the next step is, I want to combine them in one pot in the sink, just to let them cool off a bit. There's a lot of oil on the top, and I want to remove that. Now, Keep in mind, uh, when you're boiling bones, you get the, the um, gelatin out of the marrow of the bones. I don't want to remove that. That's the flavor. I just want to remove the oil. Combining the two pots of broth now will give me a better method to, to measure it as I'm building the soup. So I'm going to put that back in the stove on a cool burner just to, to let it settle, like to, to, for the oil to rise to the top. And I'll ladle that off. And I'll be cutting vegetables up. I think I'd like to end up with four cups of carrots. I have these big fat carrots that grew in our garden this year. And now put the carrot peels and everything into our compost pile. Used to just put them in the garbage, but that's not for waste. These carrots are nice and sweet. My apologies for the TV news that you can hear in the background. I did not notice till later when I turned it down. It's really hard to remove while editing.
I'm just gonna dice them up into small pieces. You can dice them any size you want. You can. I can't really do little rounds because well, it's a big fat carrot. But I'll do little dices. So, folks, I'm gonna just turn off the camera now and prepare four cups of these carrots. I'm gonna be adding some wild rice. So I'm gonna put like half a cup. I wanna I'm going to boil it. Actually I was thinking one more than that. About another half of a half, so I'll have three quarters of a cup. Yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna pre-boil it a bit while I'm cutting vegetables. Simmer it just a little bit to, to kind of soften it up. Since it is wild rice, it's not like pre-cooked or anything. So, oh, four cups of nice fresh carrots grown in our garden this summer into the pot. Now I'm going to chop up about the same size pieces of celery. Maybe two cups, not four, just two cups of celery. They're washed. Both ends have been cut off. I'm going to slice them down the center. So it's kind of big pieces. That'll be good enough. Okay, I'm going to finish chopping them up. Two cups of them. And I'll talk to you then. And two cups of celery. One cup of chopped up diced onion, a yellow onion. Could use white, I just didn't have one, so I'll put a yellow one in. Two tablespoons of crushed minced garlic. Tablespoons, not teaspoons. This is the wild rice. It's been boiling away for a little while. Just wanted to kind of get this a, a color on it, a dark color. It is wild rice. see the color of it. I just don't like that. It's probably perfectly safe and all that. I just don't like it. Down the sink it goes. I'm going to bring the pot over here instead of leaving it on the stove. Just because the camera is already set up. It's 
not much oil in here, but a little bit. Just carefully ladle it off. Just that much less oil for us to, to eat. I believe this is not oil. No way, that's oil too. That comes from because they're boiling the wings and all the fatty parts. When I'm removing this oil, right underneath it, you can see, well, I can see, I don't know if the camera can see, is nice broth. I mean, this oil would have mixed with the soup and it would taste good. I just try and reduce all the calories I can get from oils and greases. And... There. hot. Oh, it has very nice broth. Took off that much. That's like almost two cups of oil. Oh well. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> well, I'm going to put that in the pot right here. Uh, wash my measuring cup. It's just easier to work with. It. Easier to clean up after. Four cups of broth. Hardly made a dent. Eight cups of broth. Well, I'm going for it. 12 cups of broth. Cool.
I can only find my one half a teaspoon, so I want to put in like two teaspoons. So it's like four of thyme. Same of basil. Like that's only two teaspoons because it's it's a half teaspoon. So if I put in four, that's half. Just putting in one teaspoon, two halves of, of rosemary. I just want, I don't know, for this, I'm going to just put in one teaspoon. That's two halves. One half, two halves. We can always add more after at the tables serving the guests. And salt. Same thing. Two halves. One half, one teaspoon of salt. Now I want to get this moved on to the stove. I still want to put in a few potatoes too. I don't know, it's be more like stew than soup, but anyway, we'll see. So I'm going to move this to the stove and I'm going to cut up one potato probably and, and dice it up and see what it looks like. I don't want very much potato. Maybe one cup. Just making small chopped potatoes, a few slices, a few chops, and now I have two cups diced potatoes and I'm going to stir them into the pot. Not much room in the pot now. Starting to smell, wow, well, it's been smelling good all day, but it's really starting to smell good now with the spices. I don't think I can put much more in this pot. So now it's just on to start simmering. Till later. I'm going to add four tablespoons level, not even, of flour to the soup just to give it a bit of thickness like, instead of a thin broth. It's 
some cold water. Not much, just enough to mix it all up. more on the outside. I have it on number two right now. Just want to bring it up to a simmer. I don't want to burn it, that's why it's only on number two. Well, I have to put the turkey in still. I hope I left enough room. <laughs> I have a little over four cups. Wow, sure looks good, sure smells good. Well, I'm gonna try it. Four cups of turkey. That's the turkey we rescued off the carcass while straining and cleaning and picking through the bones. There's one full pot of soup. Sure looks good. Still only on number two. I'm going to have a taste of that. Just going to have a taste of this broth. See what it tastes like. Oh, that tastes so nice. Mmm, can hardly wait to have a bowl after. Anyway, for now, sit there and simmer away. That's where we keep her. Oh my god, it's heavy. Kitchen compost. We're gonna have to take that out and dump it in the bigger compost. It's amazing how fast kitchen and scraps pile up. Okay, it's time now to put in the final ingredient. Some cream. I'm going to use evaporated milk. Should be enough. Hmm, it's gonna be nice to get it in my bowl.
Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> So you've been working on the soup for how many days? <laughs> Two, actually, all day yesterday with boiling the broth, the bones. Yeah, and put it together today. We have more broth to get you to help them put it in freezer okay. bags. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, very nice. good. Thanks for watching me prepare this turkey soup from from bone broth, right from making the bone broth too. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And, and click like if you like it and try the recipe and like that too. Bye. Because I boiled two turkey carcasses, we had a quite a bit more broth than we needed for a pot of soup. So I'm going to take this broth and with the help of my wife, who's going to hold the baggies, I'm going to put the broth into freezer bags. So we're going to use a measuring cup. And how many cups would you like Put four in, in one bag? Four. Two. Three. That's not enough. That's working. Okay. Now, gotta get try and get all the air out. So you're folding it over the inner hump of the sink there. Mm -hmm. You could do it on the countertop too, but the point is to get all the air out. There's one baggie that will get frozen. No, nope. Yeah. Cool. And that's good for a smaller pot of soup. Yeah. Oh, you might as well put the rest in this bag. That's for a regular pot, I'd use that. Yeah. That means smaller than the one I made. Yeah. Gonna, I hate to make a mess of you. Don't make a mess of me. Pour it in the bag. That's hard. See, you're doing it good. Good job. See, done. Looks about the same size. Mm -hmm. Then we just light them flat on the freezer. That's it. Okay, so I would like to eat more of this turkey soup for supper. However, we could probably put a bag away of that too and freeze it in. Eh? Yep. So definitely have to go buy a serving. Two scoops. Uh, per bowl. And I always eat more than one bowl. That's four. Two servings. By serving you in a bowl. Yeah. I'll take one more cup of liquid here. So that should be 
how many, two, two and a half bowls or three bowls? One other one of liquid. Okay, that's good. Um, so basically you're doing it the same way as the broth. Yep. Take all the air out. This is pretty hot. And to reheat, you just leave it thaw out normally or you can nuke it a little bit or just put it in warm water, I guess. Here we have an ice cream container. One, two, There's six scoops. That should be good, eh? Yeah, that's for one meal. For just two of us. Yeah. You can eat it maybe Saturday. I'll just put it in the fridge and not freeze it. Yeah. Actually, I like using that container even when it's frozen. So if you want to use another one to freeze the next one. If you can find the lid. There it is. And there we have two meals, one in the fridge, one's going in the freezer. Oh, I like to put a layer of saran wrap or something right on the surface so that helps to slow down the freezer burn. Keeps the air from direct contact. Just push it down. Just like that. And there we go. Well, folks, that's it for today. Don't forget, subscribe, click like. Till next time, bye-bye.